Okay, so you want to calculate the percentage of pass or fails or yes or no's. So in my scenario, I've got students, got their exam mark, pass mark is 45. First of all, in column C, I need to work out whether they passed or failed. Now to do that, I'd use if equals if open bracket, logical test, is the mark greater than or equal to the pass mark? and I need to lock that pass mark cell reference. And I do that by pressing F4 at the top of my keyboard. That puts dollars in that cell reference. If F4 doesn't work for you, then just type the dollars in as I've got them there. Comma, value if true, pass. Notice I've had to put the word pass within quotation marks. That's always the case with text values. Comma, value of false, fail. Close the bracket, press enter, and then copy this down by double clicking on this little green square. And I get my passes and my fails. So to calculate the percentage of students that have passed the exam, I'd use the count if function. Range is the range of cells that you're counting in. Comma. Criteria is what you're counting within that range. So I'm counting how many times the word pass appears in that column. Close the bracket, press enter. So you can see it's calculated that there are four passes. To calculate the percentage of students that have passed, I'd need to divide this number by the number of students. So what I could do is say divide by count A, and then just select all the student names. Close the bracket, press enter. And then to format that as a percentage value, Select the cell and click on this button here. Or I can use the shortcut key Control Shift 5. So same method for calculating the percentage of students that have failed equals count if. This is my range. Counting this time for the word fail. And then I would divide that by the count of the student names. and I can apply the percentage format. Now my second scenario is similar. I need to count the number of students that have passed or failed. This time I've just got yes and no in this column, but I've also got some NA results here where students didn't take the exam. So I need to ignore the students that didn't take the exam. So what I would do first of all is calculate the number of tests that have been taken. So first of all, I would count how many students there were using count A. And then I'd subtract from that the number of cells in this column that contain an NA value. So count if in this range for the value N slash A. So there are eight tests that have been taken. Now to calculate the percentage of students that have passed, I would use count if again, count if in this column, the word yes, and I would divide that value by the calculation that I've performed in E3. Press enter, apply the percentage format. So 50% of students have passed, and I could do the same for the ones that have failed, count if in this column, the word no, and divide that by the value in E3. And again, it's 50%. So let's say Bill did pass, put in a yes for him, and you can see it recalculates. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.